What's up, teens? Mix Christy here, and I have another awesome book review for you guys. Uh, I won't be doing the Downstairs Girl because I'm going to save that for next month because I'm doing an entire thing for next month, and I'll let you guys know um, sometime next week on that one. So for today's book review, a lot of you guys are really, really interested in the thrillers. I've never really read a YA thriller before, so I decided to start with um, the person who's considered the queen of thriller for YA, and I decided to try uh, Karen McManus's uh, Two Can Keep a Secret. Um, this one is set in small town Echo Fall, where twins Ellery and Azura are sent back to live with their grandma because their mom had to go into rehab back out in California. So they move out to the East Coast, and from there they start to learn that there's a lot of secrets holding out in their town. I mean, even when they first arrive, they arrive at almost a hit and run, where a very, very beloved teacher uh, it ends up being killed from the hit and run. And then from there, a lot of different things escalated. Like, their mom's babysitter, her daughter, was murdered. Um, was murdered last year for no explanation whatsoever. And even the twins' own aunt, which is their mom's sister, went missing when she was young. So, uh, and then of course, as soon as they get there, a lot more spooky stuff starts happening. So it turns out that the killer is back and they are targeting the homecoming queens. Because it turns out that um, their aunt was a homecoming queen and also their neighbor's, um, or their, yeah, their neighbor's daughter was also homecoming queen. So they're calling it the homecoming, the homecoming queen killer. And this killer decides to focus on the homecoming queens, which is where Ellery also gets sucked in for no reason. So Ellery tries to use her true crime brain to try to figure out what's going to happen. So she has to work together with another local town named Malcolm. And can they solve the crime before anything bad happens? I don't know. You got to read the book. So I did. I read it. It was all right. Um, I don't really know how to really to explain it. Maybe it's because I do read a bit more of the adult uh, mystery series. Um, adult cozy mysteries are uh, my weakness, so I think kind of reading a teen one was a little weird. Uh, I will definitely give our other ones a chance. Um, I actually just got uh, One of Us is Lying on my Kindle. I, I won't do a book review on that one, but I thought it was okay. It did jump between Ellery's point of view and Malcolm's point of view. And I don't know, it just felt... It felt weird. I don't know if it's because, like, you know, I'm getting older and what they're considering is history is like 2001. And I can't wrap my brain on someone being so young in 2001. <laughs> You know, 90s child here. Um, 90s will always will always only be like a couple years ago for me. So I think that's probably what's bugging my brain on it right now is because they consider 2001, you know, to be old. So I think this was throwing me off. But I couldn't really fall in love with the characters as well. I was definitely more interested in Azura's character. And also one of Malcolm's friends, Mia. Um, I don't know. I I mean, I, they even brought it up how there's only five characters that were a person of color. And that was even including the twins. But they didn't... I mean, the cover doesn't even really show... You know, it doesn't really show that. But I understand why the cover is like that now. I realize that's a whole different thing. But I just kind of felt like there was not really you know, a lot of diversity. It mentioned once that Azura is actually gay and that Mia is also a queer part of the LGBTQ plus community. So I don't know if like that's throwing me off and yeah, I don't know. I mean, it was still good. I'm obviously going to read her other ones. So once I read One of Us is Lying, I'll read the One, One of Us is Next, the sequel to it, obviously. Um, but I think I just need to find a stronger thriller um, not saying that it's not good. I do recommend it, but it just wasn't my favorite. And I, it was very luckluster at the end. Um, I mean, I, I wasn't able to guess it, 
clearly. I not that I wasn't really trying to guess. Not I didn't want it to be predictable, but I I I couldn't guess what was gonna happen at the end. But once it did happen, it was very it was okay. But I do recommend it if you guys are really huge in thrillers. I am gonna give the I am gonna give the genre a try. So um yeah. So I read Two Can Keep a Secret. Um, there is an ebook and an e audio version. I'll link them in the description below. So yeah, um, please make sure to like this video, throw in a comment if you want, and make sure you continue to subscribe to the Friend for Public Library YouTube channel where we have a lot of amazing things. And also, please make sure that you check out our Facebook where even more exciting things and exciting news are happening there. Um, and as always, I will see you guys in the next chapter. Bye.